Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a versus video. I'm going to be doing as a viewer request. Uh, this one was uh, sent in by Glendose2222. And uh, basically he wanted to hear my thoughts on Rick Grimes, okay, from The Walking Dead, obviously. Uh, television show or comic, because they're basically the same. Um, well, I mean, you know, mostly the same. Here's, here's what we'll do. We'll go Rick Grimes, the way he is in the TV show, up to the end of that, also influenced by his actions in the comic books and who he is as a character in the comic books, uh, influenced over time. Um, so, yeah, him versus our favorite character from Breaking Bad, or at least my favorite character from Breaking Bad, which is uh, Walter White or Heisenberg. Now, I know many of you probably haven't seen Breaking Bad, uh, and if you haven't, I'll give you a quick rundown of the type of character um, Walter White is, as well as I'll go over you know, Rick Grimes, likewise, if anyone hasn't uh, really been into The Walking Dead at all, uh, and sort of just break down a matchup. Our scenario, let's say, will be a zombie apocalypse, because why not? That's more interesting than real life, isn't it? Um, so the two going at it, who would win? Let's get into it. So, uh, for those of you guys who have not seen Breaking Bad, I highly implore you to do so. It is an amazing show. It is one of my favorite shows on television. Um, right up there with The Walking Dead on AMC and uh, Season 5. Uh, the first part of it is finale is this weekend. Um, going to be on Sunday, and then it's going to continue with the last season next year. Who Walter White is or Heisenberg? Basically, Heisenberg is a street name for him and uh, essentially who he is is a character that starts out at the beginning of Breaking Bad he's a high school chemistry teacher finds out that he's got uh, lung cancer he's gonna die very soon probably uh, and uh, essentially is gonna be leaving his family with nothing um, you know no money uh, the house I don't even know if the house would be paid for his wife uh, Skyler doesn't really have uh, you know any kind of steady income or a job or anything like that and he basically feels like a failure of a man. So what does he decide to do? Well, his brother-in-law is in the DEA and he decides to go on a ride along with him and he sort of finds out about the, um, the crystal meth business uh, from him. So he gets, uh, so he decides that he's going to try to cook crystal meth and sell it <laughs> to leave his family with enough money for the kids to go to college and his wife to be okay, house to be paid for, all that kind of stuff. He quotes it at, I think, about $600,000 is what he's looking to do. So as we go through the series with Walter White, um, you know, he makes a lot of different decisions and he has to do a lot of things that obviously as a high school chemistry teacher, he would not normally do. He has to kill several people. Um, he also takes down one of the guys who's sort of like a top dog in an organization he's a part of. And uh, near the end where we're at now, he's basically trying to build his own organization, so to speak, or empire, he calls it. So he is an evil, conniving character at this point. I mean, he started off as like your atypical good guy, high school teacher type person. And at this point in the series, being as that he's sort of transitioned from Walter White to being Heisenberg, he is, um, you know, just a, a badass mf -er that you don't really want to mess with. Um, is he a good guy anymore? No. Uh, I think he's actually crossed over completely, and he is no longer a protagonist. I'd say he is a bad guy. Um, but we do follow him through the series. So, uh, flip that around, and let's look at uh, Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead. Rick Grimes is like your atypical good guy thrust into a zombie apocalypse with all kinds of things happening, like his wife sleeping with his uh, best friend um, slash partner on the police force, all this kind of stuff. And, um, you know, really tough guy, able to find his family in that environment, even still able to protect them, protect a lot of people in the group, uh, becomes a leader of the group, ends up having to kill his best friend to keep the group safe. So he'll do what he has to do. Also, in the second season, we see him lay down two guys in the bar, Dave and Tony. He, uh, in a you know quick draw situation, he puts them down. Um, pretty uh, pretty cool scene as well, too. One of the most badass scenes for Rick in the television series. In the comic book, he has gone from that to being completely, totally um, ruthless and uh, you know untrusting of other people, as well as um, he's a man that sort of lost everything, so to speak. He has, really has nothing left to lose, um, or hardly anything left to lose. Uh, maybe just one thing, really. If you guys have read, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but, you know, he is a very uh, interesting character. He's gone from being, you know, your atypical good guy, not to a bad guy. He's not, he's not an evil guy. He's not a bad guy. 
but he is a badass mf -er as well. So how would it go down between the two of them in a zombie apocalypse type situation? So let's say next season, season three, uh, Rick Grimes uh, and the group enter the prison, they clear out the zombies, they go up to the door, they try to get in, and the door opens and Walter White walks out and does a little something like this. Stay out of my territory. And then they are to ensue in a vicious group battle. Um, and you gotta think too that in this kind, of, we already know Rick's group obviously. You got Daryl, t Dog. um, Michonne will be there soon, not there yet. Andrea's off doing her thing. Carl, Lori, Carol, um, Maggie, and Glenn. So, yeah, I mean, Daryl's pretty badass. T Dog, yeah, yeah, he can hold his own. Rick's pretty badass, probably one of the most badass of the group. Glenn, uh, he'll protect Maggie, you know, he'll do his thing. But you gotta think, though, if Walter White, okay, Heisenberg, was in a zombie apocalypse, um, he'd be one of those dudes you do not want to mess with. You know what I'm saying? He would be one of those guys like Negan that you just don't want to F around with. So, if it went down between the two of them, I mean, in a fist fight, yeah, one-on-one, -on -one, you gotta go with Rick Grimes, you know, uh, or with guns. You know, uh, obviously Rick's a faster, faster shot and all that kind of stuff, but nothing's ever gonna be that simple with Walter White. You know, he's, uh... He's a master at uh, manipulation and using people and, you know, creating things like car bombs and stuff like that. And just, you know, he can go like everyday, you know, objects and stuff. He can turn into weapons. Um, his knowledge of chemicals as well. You have to think he'd come up with some brilliant way of, uh, of exterminating walkers pretty easily. Um, I mean, he's just he's just a monster. So if it was going to come down to Rick Grimes against uh, Walter White... In a group battle, or you know, even just like sort of like type of situation you have where Woodbury and uh, Rick and the group from the prison are going to be going at it. People probably aren't going to like this, but I think I'm going to have to go with Walter White as taking out Rick Grimes. I really am. I think that uh, Walt is just a badass mf -er to another degree than Rick. Uh, also, too, Rick falls for a lot of stuff, you know, like in the comic book series and in the TV show. He makes a lot of mistakes, whereas, you know, Walter, on the other hand, yeah, he yeah, he makes mistakes, too. He gives into his anger sometimes, stuff like that as well. But he's just, he's got everything planned out. You know, everything is so mapped out, planned out, and he'll do anything he's got to do, you know, at this point. He's really not uh, against almost anything. Uh, in order to meet his goals, he'll do whatever he has to. Um, you know, kill people, manipulate people, you know, do whatever, whatever he's got to do. So if it comes down to Rick Grimes against Walter White, one group against another, um, yeah, I'm going to have to go with Walter White. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about it. Who would win? Walter White versus Rick Grimes. Trev says Heisenberg takes it. Peace, guys.